Hi guys, quick video for those of you who may have a cracker box welder like this one and need more distance. Um, I had this really heavy dude, and I'm probably the last person in the world who found this out or figured this out. But uh, anyway, it turned out that I had some stuff, uh, my wife and I in, year, in years gone by had purchased a couple of uh, sheds at auction uh, way before they came on TV with that show. But one of the sheds that I got had a bunch of welding stuff in it. And all I had left was this thing here and uh, the welding end. And this is was brand new. Uh, so what I did was I had this heavy-duty pair of uh, jumper cables for my truck. And so anyway, I was just using them just with the jumper cable attachments. You can see the, the black side here and here. I don't know if you can tell what it is. But at any rate, uh, I was using them like that, and it was really kind of inconvenient. But it did give me an extra 12 or 15 feet of distance. So I looked through my welding box and found this guy here. And this is just awesome. Let me uh, unwind this and show you how this works. You can see the black and white wire was my jumper cables, and I separated them uh, to make it easier on me to work with it. And uh, what this does is if you twist it, and one of them is really old, the other is really new. But if you twist it, they separate, so they're kind of locked. I'll put the camera down and see if I can make this work. Maybe you can see it. If not, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, probably not. I think I probably blocked you. Let me turn you back here. Yeah, hopefully that'll work. But anyway, you twist it, and then it comes apart. Uh, put it back in, and it locks in place. So hopefully you got that. Uh, anyway, I wanted to share that with you because uh, however much a pair of extension, I mean a heavy-duty heavy, heavy duty pair of jumper cables costs, uh, plus these little guys here can really save your life. Um, I was doing some welding like way up here. This is a 10 foot tall structure and uh, it was just really difficult to reach. And plus I was having to roll the, the, the welder all over the place. I've got it on a two wheel dolly here that I purchased at uh, Harbor Freight or Northern Tools or someplace. Anyway, wanted to share that with you. Hope you all uh, doing well with the welding.